So before we get started on this video talking about the Rocketeer, and you may be wondering, well, you were saying in the past two videos that you were going to be putting this on uh, your Patreon, What Gives. I was thinking that, but then I thought, why not put this one here and do the f new fanfiction idea video I had in mind over there? Which, for those wondering, I will be splitting up the fanfiction ideas between here and there. Um, Although, I may decide to put the fanfiction ideas more on Patreon uh, more often than not. So, if you haven't already, go click the just link in the description below, and you can check out the video for uh, fan my fanfiction idea, which is, believe it or not, a wrestling AU. It's a fanfiction idea dealing with characters being in a wrestling AU. I know, I've never really done anything with wrestling. Um, so hopefully this will be fun. This will this will I like I know very little of wrestling, so thought it'd be interesting to talk about. So, uh, but let's not focus on that right now. Let's focus on the task at hand, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the announcement of Disney Plus's new movie coming called The Return of the Rocketeer. Now, the the Rocketeer is a character I really enjoy. Um, the movie's pretty fun, um, but it's always been like a cult character, you know? It's always been like a cult favorite character. Um, the character's shown up in like IDW comics, even had a crossover with the spirit. Um, it's an all-around fun superhero story. It's a fun, like, steampunky era, super, or, like, superhero, like, early 20s era. It really, like, invokes, like, characters like the Shadow and stuff like that while still having, like, a Buck Rogers kind of feel. And I really dig that as a character. I really love seeing the Rocketeer. So, they now announce that this will be, like, uh, they haven't really said, like, outright, but the return of the Rocketeer will be, like, a quote-unquote sequel to the original Rocket or 90s Rocketeer. Um, now, they have cast uh, David Alawalo, I cannot pronounce his name, as the main character. And the story is, for this new Rocketeer, is that he is a retired Tuskegee Airman who has built the Rocketeer suit to combat a new threat. So we are basically in, uh, this is still a period piece, which I really like. I really like the idea of this being still a period piece story, much like the original Rocketeer, which dealt with the rise of the, of the Axis, and this is dealing with, because it, it seems like that would be the, uh, that would be the logical point, like, there are probably, like, I would like to see, like, the Rocketeer in World War II, but what made it so fun is that the Rocketeer was, like, the ro like in the 20s, 30s, and all of that. But here, I think it's a neat idea of dealing with a post-war era um, ro a rocketeer. I think that's really neat that we're we're skipping over war, the war itself and instead focusing on the an era of like the the era that is basically forgotten because the ski airmen were more or less swept under the rug after everything that had happened, and we're dealing with basically the civil rights issues and a black superhero in that era is pro like uh, Isaiah Bradley can attest to this is that being a, a black superhero in an era of the civil rights movement or even before the civil rights movement is not fun so that <laughs> that's gonna lead to a whole lot of uh, uh, like just fun storytelling that I just cannot wait to see well fun in the sense that it's gonna be an interesting story um, not fun, like, it's not gonna be like, ooh, isn't this fun? We're in the 1950s, this is, ooh, there's, there's lynchings going on. Uh, no, I'm not saying that at all. Um, and I know, I've already seen, like, people already saying, like, oh, the Rocketeer's gone woke. I'm like, they haven't done anything with the Rocketeer franchise, like, property in ages. Let's be real. They haven't done shit with it, all right? They, the, the closest they did was an IDW comic, and then they did the Rocketeer as, like, an animated character with a female Rocketeer, like, it was for Disney Junior. I never, I heard about it, but I never saw it, and I don't even think it came out. Did it? I don't care. Um, but yeah, the Rocketeer has been, like, a character that's been in, dor like, dormancy for decades. And the movie, the first movie is good. It's really fun. But, you know... The Rocket, like, this being a sequel and not, like, a reboot is is also a neat idea, and it's a, the title is still there. I would love to see the original actors come back from the Rocketeer and play in there, but then, oh, I don't know if you could get the original actor to play from Rocket the Rocketeer in here, because he's older now, and the... It only have been, like, if we are looking at this, uh... 
it had only been like 30, if like we're dealing with like late 50s, early 60s era for the Rocketeer, of this new Rocketeer, then it's only been like a 30 year time gap. There's it like, you would not age as fast, uh, like age that fast in 30 years. So, yeah. Um, it does make me wonder, are we going to fight Nazis? Are we going to have him fight the Nazi the, a version of the Nazis? Are we going to be taking on some other stuff? Or, because Disney will not have the balls, I guarantee you. Disney in no way, shape, or form will have the testicles to, uh, have the Rocketeer take on, you know, the, uh, uh, the clan or something like that. Yeah, he's not, you're not gonna see on a Disney Plus show and like, oh, but what about Falcon and Winter Soldier? It got by, but I'm like saying, like, it got by because, you know, it, it, like, that story needed to be told and the MCU was securing itself where it could get, it could do that. Here, like, this is a property that hasn't been seen in a while, and I guarantee you the mouse will be have its hands in it, whereas Kevin Feige usually, like, takes a broom and, like, get out of here, mouse, yeah, yeah, it's my show. So, Kevin Feige, you, this will not be under the shield, the Kevin Feige shield, so the mouse will be a lot more, uh, have his hands in it than, you know, in most Marvel movies, which sucks because this is a perfect opportunity to really play with that you know, really play with those elements of that era, and again, having a, like, I want to see more stories like this, of a superhero in the Civil Rights era, because the only one I've really, I can really think of is the Blue Marvel, uh, from Kevin Grevero, and it's a character, that's also a character I would love to see in the MCU, but, yeah, the problem is no one's going to take that to its full potential, like, you, like, I would be shocked if we see in a trailer for the return of the Rocketeer, where the Rocketeer just is like, cracking, like, a Grand Wizard across the, his masked fucking face. But we're probably not gonna get that, because Disney will not have the balls to do that. But I'd be shocked if they did. Anyway. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this, uh, new Rocketeer movie? Um, I don't, like, this is the first time ever I've talked about the Rocketeer, so I'm I don't have no idea how this is going to be a reaction. And again, if you're watching this and are curious about that fanfiction idea, go on to my Patreon. You can click the link in the description below and make yourself a patron. I'd really appreciate it. Um, part of this new era in my life really could use the help. Um, and you guys can go check out the video there after beginning after uh, being becoming a patron. But uh, until next time, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.